Hello. <laughs> Note to self, don't fall off the stage. Um, I've done that before. <laughs> um, first of all, I just wanted to say thank you to Viv and to Kate for inviting me all the way up from Exeter and to come and meet you all again. A few fa familiar faces. Um, I am a survivor of childhood sexual abuse and I've been writing poetry about it for years and reading it in pubs and poetry spaces and you know you get that look every now and again at somebody somebody knows what you're talking about but to be in a room full of people that know what you're talking about <laughs> is really magical it really is it's really powerful so I wrote a poem quite a long time ago about voices I thought it was quite fitting because we've got one now so it's called Speak. They say the voice is somewhere in the throat. Merely air passing through complicated chords, a collection of sounds to which we ourselves give meaning. I disagree. For me, the voice is elemental. It's a fire that rages in the belly, a cauldron of unrequited love, of deep despair and uncontrollable anger. The voice courses the veins like a deadly serpent, feeding on guilt and pleasure and fear, growing fat on the feast that life brings. The voice pierces the silence of the mind, chattering thoughts like the fuse with no care for consequence, and the fire in the belly starts to burn. The fire burns so hot that not to speak would be to give yourself up to the fire to be seared by the acidic heat. That's where the voice is born. That fiery nebula are, our word, are the words cast in molten despair. An amalgam of truth and retribution. And when we suppress this uprising of fire, when we try to bind the serpent to quench the raging fires, the poison mixes with the fumes and travels through to the heart, through to the brain, and it clouds our thoughts and slowly drains the colour from our lives. And in that venomous fog we stay, tortured and tormented by our captive, we become changed, we feel we are less. But there's a cure. First, we need to go outside. Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just thought of you know. <clears throat> Find space. Feel cool air against the skin and in the safety of a natured hearth, we begin to open ourselves. We brace ourselves for what we are about to birth. And as the colours and sounds of the land enter our bodies, the smoke and stench begins to leave, slowly at first, but then billowing out from open mouths and opened hearts. But in that smoke there are words forged in the fires of the belly and galvanised in the heart for so many years. Those words are our truth. And when we begin to speak these heavy truths, they will fly from the belly like Valkyrie, collecting the dead as they swirl through the smoke. And that's when the magic happens. When we ourselves take control of the raging fire and begin to command the forge, then we can make our own truth, and then we can hammer out our own destinies. Thank you. <laughs>